rather than stick our heads in the sand over the alarming future predictions for the Amazon rainforest, it's high time to turn our fullest attention to long-term solutions that can be initiated now to create a buffer for our own children's lifetimes, much less future generations. According to Scientific American, big rainforests like the Amazon actually drive the entire global water cycle by pulling in large amounts of water vapor from surrounding regions and nearby bodies of water. As the vapor condenses into rain, the local atmospheric pressure drops, which sucks in more water vapor from outside the forest, which repeats the process, creating a positive feedback loop. The whole rainforest water vapor system is called a biotic pump because the living forest is what's moving the water. The Amazon rainforest, for example, releases 20 trillion liters of moisture every day. Further, it's now believed that rainforests also create winds that pump moisture across continents. Rainforests help to regulate the climate by absorbing atmospheric carbon dioxide, the main greenhouse gas. A single tree in the forest will absorb one ton of CO2 in its lifetime. Initiatives to stop deforestation and reforestation projects are among the most cost-effective ways to reduce these greenhouse gas emissions. Most North Americans think that the Amazon is the rainforest in South America, unaware that an even more diverse rainforest exists in Brazil, the Atlantic rainforest, 93% of which was ravaged by deforestation during the last few centuries. Despite its diminished state, the Atlantic forest, or Mata Atlantica, still ranks as a global conservation priority. It holds the potential to restore itself, providing future rainfall and carbon sinks due to its temperate climate, unlike the Amazon sitting on the equator. Clearly, the lost 93% of the forest isn't coming back by itself and only the farmers and ranchers who live on this land can create the change we all depend upon through their education and the cooperation of their local communities. Fortunately, Brazilian President Lula da Silva has acknowledged the urgency of this situation by signing a decree in November 2007 to protect and restore critically endangered rainforest along the country's Atlantic coast. This decree provides financial incentives for local residents to protect and recover forest through green businesses. Rainforest EcoBank is poised to be a hub for these local residents, bringing together farmers, permaculture and agroforestry experts, local and international NGOs, and the Brazilian government. Together, we see the opportunity to fill a vast need.